His Royal Highness the Crown Prince and Prime Minister Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa chaired the weekly cabinet meeting at Qadibiyah Palace. The cabinet congratulated His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa on the occasion of the Silver Jubilee, noting the wide-ranging achievements attained under the kingdom's comprehensive development led by His Majesty. The cabinet affirmed the importance of His Majesty's address on this occasion. In commemoration of the significant milestone, His Royal Highness directed the launch of many initiatives, projects, programs and events to celebrate the Silver Jubilee from March until December of this year. On the occasion of the holy month of Ramadan, the cabinet extended its congratulations to His Majesty the King and wished further progress to Bahrain and the Arab and Islamic nations. His Royal Highness issued a directive for the opening, restoration and development of 32 mosques belonging to the Sunni and Ja'fari Waqfs across the kingdom's governorates. As part of the development plan for mosques, he ordered the allocation of the necessary budget for the development plan, ensuring the adoption of modern and Islamic designs and the rebuilding and enhancement of mosques. He also directed the Ministry of Justice and Islamic Affairs in coordination with the concerned authorities to allocate sites and expedite the design and construction of the mosques. The cabinet then followed up on the availability of consumer goods in the market and the impact of measures taken to enhance response to market needs to ensure price stability. They highlighted the efforts of the Ministry of Industry and Commerce along with the commercial sector to ensure price stability and the abundance of consumer goods during the holy month. The cabinet hailed Bahrain e-passports, winning the Best New Passport Award for 2024 in the Europe, Middle East and Africa region during the High Security Printing Award ceremony. The cabinet said that the award reflects the excellence of the national workforce that oversaw the design and execution of the e-passport project. In light of community partnership and belonging to the Nation Day, the cabinet highlighted Team Bahrain's commitment, diligence and passion, values that have contributed to the furthering of Kingdom's comprehensive development, and commended the Ministry of Interior's initiatives and its role in consolidating community partnership and national belonging. The cabinet then approved the following, a memorandum by the Minister of Interior regarding the classification of several entities and individuals as terrorist entities, and a second submitted by the Ministerial Committee for Financial and Economic Affairs and Fiscal Balance regarding Bahrain's contribution to the GCC's land transport strategy. A memorandum submitted by the Ministerial Committee for Financial and Economic Affairs and Fiscal Balance requesting the approval of the National Space Science Authority to join the Space for Climate Observatory Initiative. A memorandum submitted by the Ministerial Committee for Legal and Legislative Affairs regarding Bahrain joining the Carbon Management Challenge. A memorandum submitted by the Ministerial Committee for Legal and Legislative Affairs on an MOU between the Telecommunications Regulatory Authority of Bahrain and the Georgian National Communications Commission of Georgia. And the sixth memorandum submitted by the Ministerial Committee for Legal and Legislative Affairs on the government's response to three proposals submitted by the Council of Representatives. The Cabinet then took note of the following ministerial reports. The outcomes of the participation in the 14th IEA IEF OPEC Symposium on Energy Outlooks. The outcomes of the participation in the Mobile World Congress. The outcomes of the participation in the Global Technical Conference LEAP 24. The outcomes of the participation in the 30th session of the Committee on the Rights of Persons with Disabilities. The outcomes of the participation in the 8th meeting of the GCC Ministerial Committee for Food Safety. The participation in the 3rd Annual International Conference of the Saudi Center for Commercial Arbitration. And the participation in the celebration marking 100 million international and local tourists visiting Saudi Arabia in 2023.